uh, today, uh, first day in shells, and uh, very pleased with uh, the progress. I think uh, there's going to be some great uh, teaching moments on film for our guys, certainly our young ones. And uh, it was uh, a practice where they tried to be physical, I thought, uh, when, when we did uh, some competition. But uh, again, it's, uh, it's going to be a learning process, and we're a long ways away. But I thought today was a good start for the first day of you know half pads. How did they respond to you know, being able to hit a little bit? You know, you know well, it was great. It was great. Both sides of the ball were very eager, and uh, you know, again, they you know, being physical is is what our emphasis is every day, and they tried to take that from the meeting rooms out out to the field, and uh, again, I think the younger guys. Uh, I think it got their attention a little bit when they realized what's what's happening and and how fast the game moves. But uh, again, overall, I thought the whole team uh, embraced uh, the concept of being physical today, and they tried to do it. Could you talk about going inside and what you did? We did. We went inside uh, about the last 30 minutes of practice, and uh, you know we won two. Uh, you know, it, it was pretty it was pretty hot out there, and we stayed out there long enough to to really get a good. Uh, feel for the temperature, uh, and at that point we went inside and, and you know finished practice. And uh, I, was, I was really wanting them to focus in and, and you know and try to get better at, at, at their trade. So that's that's what we did, and it worked out well. Was it kind of exciting for them going in there? I think it was. I think they were excited about it. I think it was uh, you know a good change of pace, uh, being able to do both whenever you want to do it. And uh, so I think they were excited about it. And, and, and again, I think the tempo went up when we went in there. And uh, they did a nice job. Can you go full speed in there just like outside? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mike Blakely, is there hope that you would hear something in time? Will he get him ready and he can play this fall? Uh, you know what, Mark? Uh, I'm not going to put a percentage on it, but um, you know, when, I, when we know that for sure that there's no more uh, chance, we'll, we'll let you know. This year's class, you know, you got a guy from Delaware, you got a guy from Arizona. Do you feel like recruiting wise, you know, they're kind of expanding scope more nationally as the years go on here? Uh, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, we're gonna we're gonna figure out who the best fit is for Auburn, and you know, they could be in Alaska if we think it's the right guy. You know, so um, really, really glad that you know that we can go to different parts of the of the country and and sell our program to these guys uh, so you'll continue to see some guys from different states uh, hopefully uh, but it'll never change our, our main focus is Alabama Georgia Florida Louisiana Arkansas you know everything in the southeast the Carolinas and you know that's going to be the basis of it but we certainly are open to going wherever we need to go to get the right guy who's got a last uh, not me. 